Hello YouTube, my name is Greg and welcome to Adventures with Greg. On today's food adventure, we go to Amada, the flagship restaurant of Iron Chef Jose Garces. So let's go! An interesting site near the restaurant is the Irish Hunger Memorial, which is co-designed by Brian Toll and Gail Whitworth Lard. Following the path, you enter into this Irish cottage. It's uh, stone-built, uh, very rustic, but uh, it leads up to this path uh, where there is farmland filled with soil and rocks imported from Ireland. And if you follow that path all the way to the top, there's this gorgeous view of the water and Lower Manhattan. Jose Garces is a Chicago native iron chef named Best Chef Mid-Atlantic by the James Beard Foundation. Today we go to his restaurant Amada which specializes in Andalusian tapas, Andalusia being a region in southern Spain. Currently restaurant week and we're able to taste a selection from the restaurant's menu. Unlike a normal restaurant which serves around three meals, appetizer, entree, and dessert, Amada is a tapas based uh, restaurant which consists of small dishes that you can try and share. We were served the smorgasbord of food and it was more than we can handle. We received a mousse bouche of tuna aioli garlic lavash chips. The lavash was extremely crispy with a hint of garlic, however the tuna aioli just kind of tasted like ordinary tuna fish and it wasn't really that impressive. Next, we received the manchego with truffle lavender honey. I'm a complete cheese lover. You give me brie and bread and I'm good to go. This uh, manchego was earthy and nutty with a slight creaminess, but the truffle lavender honey accents the nuttiness of the manchego, but has this rich oiliness of that truffle, which you can't really find in any other mushroom. The charcuterie mixer consisted of jamón serrano, chorizo de pamplona, and iberco caballero, accompanied by cornichons, a smaller version of pickles, mustard, and some sort of pepper that was incredibly bitter and tart. Each cured meat had a slightly different taste due to the differences in meat, seasoning, cure time, and technique. The Cooyos de Lechuga was a grilled little gem lettuce with aioli, pancetta, 
and an anchovy pe uh, pine nut escabesh, which is a uh, acidic marinade. The char in the last was nice, however I felt that the stock was way too tough. Even cutting it, it was still a bit tough. And the escabesh wasn't really balanced with the aioli, so it kind of left a uh, overly acidic taste in my mouth. a bit early in uh, the meal plan, but we weren't complaining. My personal favorite dish of the night, roasted pork with white beans, arugula, and orange. The flavor of the pork was rich and succulent, enhanced by the crispy crackling skin. The white beans added some body, and the orange provided some acidity that cut through the fat. The Castillas de Ternera was bold and rich with heavy flavors of short rib and parmesan with a bit of heat from the horseradish and smoke from the bacon. Pimentos de Pardon are flash fried shishito peppers seasoned with sabixada, a nut and uh, red pepper sauce thickened with garlic rub toast, and finished with sea salt. These peppers can be extremely sweet or extremely spicy. We tested our fate with each one we chose, but besides from the uh, occasional heat, the sabixada, which was similar to romesca sauce, was nutty and savory with the natural sweetness of the peppers with just a slight crisp from the flash frying. What an extremely tender octopus. I feel like they have a guy in the back that's just paid to massage this octopus because it was so tender and moist. Uh, an interesting addition is uh, the usage of mashed potatoes instead of sliced potatoes felt that the nice soft texture kind of matched well with this octopus and the flavors just went together well. Tatas Bravas, a classic tapas consisting of fried potatoes and spicy aioli, kind of like spicy uh, spicy mayo fries, but I felt these potatoes were a little bit lackluster because um, they weren't as tender and it didn't have as much flavor. In the final course we received cauliflower, granil asado, garbanzos con espinacas and gambas a la plancha. Our final dessert was a tocineo de cello, a beautiful looking dessert consisting of an egg cream, hints of vanilla, and uh, orange meringue, almond sponge soaked in caramel, topped with pistachio, orange zest, and coconuts. 
Each spoonful was a different combination. After dinner, we had this unplanned trip to Sweet Moments located in Chinatown. We went there for bingsu, which is a type of shaved ice. And uh, also, this was one of the first times I've ever had a real latte at a coffee shop. Uh, I'm already a coffee addict to begin with, so the latte art was just icing on the cake. We ordered the limited edition watermelon bingsu, which came in a watermelon, and the mango cheesecake bingsu. That's all y'all, if you liked what you saw be sure you leave a comment down below, subscribe for more food adventures, and be sure to hit that like button. Until next time, this is Greg signing off.